and welcome to Lelouch or Light. Today we will be taking a look at their fates. Obviously, as from both pictures you can tell that they died, but we will be looking at how they died, why they died, and whether or not they actually deserved their fates. So, since we started off with Light last time, today we'll start off with Lelouch. So, before I get into how Lelouch died, I need to get into a little bit of backstory. So, at this point in the anime, Lelouch has defeated his mother Marianne and his father Charles, and has taken over Britannia. And, because he wanted to create a peaceful world, he made sure that all the hatred in the world was focused squarely on him. So that eventually, Suzaku, dressed up as Zero, would kill him. Henceforth banishing all the hatred. So that is why he died and how he died. But my main question is, did he deserve it? To put it bluntly, no. I do not think that he deserved to die. But at the same time, I don't think there could have been any other way to solve his problem and achieve his goal. After all, he did create the peaceful world that his sister wanted. And that was what he always wanted to do. So, in a way, Lelouch's death is satisfying, but it's also heartbreaking. Code Geass has the best bittersweet ending that I have ever seen. Many a book and anime have tried to kill off their main character, and it's never worked out. This is the only one where it's truly worked out because it resolves everything. In the end... Lelouch achieves his goal, and he sacrifices himself in order to make sure that his goal is achieved. And it is one of, it is truly noble. This is the most selfless act that you could ever think of Lelouch doing. Sacrificing himself to make sure that he achieves his goal, and that his sister is happy, and that the world is peaceful. It just works. It's a fantastic ending. Even though I don't like the fact that Lelouch is dead, there is no other way it probably could have been solved. I mean, I'm sure someone could come up with a better way to resolve everything, but it fit for Code Geass. I've heard people call it the tragedy of Lelouch, and in a tragedy, someone has to die. It doesn't always have to be the main character, but a lot of the times the main character is moved from a high stature to a low stature. So in this case, Lelouch was moved from life to death. And that is why Code Geass's ending is one of my favorite endings in general. Also, when it comes to a tragedy, you need to take some sort of lesson from it. You need to feel like you've learned something, that you went through all this torture to learn something. And I think that Code Geass's message, I could be completely off. But I think it's that nothing ever goes according to plan. You always need to be prepared, and you always need to be able to make sacrifices, and you need to be able to have your goal in mind, but it's never going to be easy to achieve it. That is a fantastic message. And it's one that I think a lot of anime and books in general should really follow. Nothing is ever black and white. There's always some gray middle ground. It is something that I strongly believe in. And it really works in Code Geass. I really like tragedies like Oedipus and Antigone. And this is up there with them. At least in my opinion. And it's just a perfect ending. I can't think of any other way that this show could have ended. Because... Its main message is that you need to make sacrifices. You don't always need to make the ultimate sacrifice. But that's what the show's main point was. So to conclude, while I don't think that Lelouch deserved his death per se, it pretty much summarized the message of Code Geass, and it is a great ending, and it probably couldn't have ended any other way. Now let's move on to Light. So, near the end of Death Note, well, briefly, Light gets found out, Monster does shoots him in the hand, Light runs away, and then Ryuk writes Light's name in the Death Note, and Light dies. 
So, on to the new question. Did Light deserve it? Yes, he did. Honestly, while with Lelouch it was more bittersweet, with Death Note, you kind of knew that it was coming. You were able to prepare yourself for it, and when Light died, this feeling of completeness kind of covers Death Note, but at the same time, you're kind of like, left rather unsatisfied. Heck, in the beginning of the anime, Ryuk tells Light that he is eventually going to have to write Light's name in his Death Note. If that's not foreshadowing, then I don't know what is. And... I don't think there could have been any other way to end Death Note. Light was committing so many horrible crimes at that point and he had literally gone off into the deep end and just needed to be stopped. To be perfectly honest, there isn't a whole lot I can really say about Death Note's ending. I guess it's that it finished off the series, but at the same time it kinda left it incomplete. It's kinda of hard to wrap your head around but just picture that you are eating a really good burger. You're glad that it's good, it's delicious, it's the perfect hamburger that you could ever have, and then you realize that there was no cheese, and you had originally ordered a cheeseburger. It's kind of like that feeling, except more unsatisfying. So the winner is obviously Lelouch. Code Geass's ending in general was just so much better than Death Note's. It was more satisfying, and even though Lelouch didn't deserve it, there was no better way to end the series. Well, that's all from me. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Well, actually, the next episode is the conclusion. I'll see you guys then.